Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, welcome back to all of you. It's a pleasure to be here. I would like to know if you are hitting me in the right way. Good evening, yes, teacher. I'm not getting any kind of answer. I don't know if you can hear me. Just say yes or no, please. Yes. Your microphone, Karina. If you want to talk, you have your microphone. Can you hear me? Yes, only one. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. What's going on here? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I, I was really worried about it because I was saying, hello, 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 and anybody answered me. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, sir. How are you? Fine, thanks. Okay. Nice. Okay. I'm ready, teacher, okay. for this night. I'm ready too. Just waiting for the rest of the crew in order that we can start talking about the new topic. But before we start with the new topic, we are going to remember what we study uh, on Friday, right? Okay, so please try to remember, try to take a look of your notes and because we need to make a review of the previous topic and later on we are going to start with a new one.
I got only 11. 11. Rafael Ernest Fernandez. Hello, teacher. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, teacher. Okay, glad to see you. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see, Sulaima Veronica. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, welcome. Thank you. How was your day today? Thank really you. hard? Difficult, easy? Um, easy. Okay. Pues lo, sí. lo, lo que pasa es que estoy, sigo recuperando, me parece que me veo un poquito dopada, pero ahí está. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. okay, 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 no problem, not all. Raquel, you did? What can you tell us about your day? Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, fine. What's fine? Uh, very complicated. Really complicated? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What about you, Norma Carolina? What can you tell us? How was I'm your fine. day? Okay. I'm fine, teacher. A lot of work? A lot of work. Ah, okay, okay. Excellent. What about you, Reinaldo Castro? What can you tell us? Yeah, very fine, teacher. Okay, ready? Ready. Okie dokie. Person. Como se dice, hoy me pusieron la tercera. Ah, today I got the third. <laughs> the third shot, or maybe I was no, bad in no. it. Yeah. Little, little how has. Ah, okay. Little. That is the reason why you, you feel a little relaxed, you know. But what are the symptoms that you are feeling now? Oh, very well. Uh, do you feel any symptoms? No, oh, I, I feel any, I any, feel pa any pain or weakness or um, a kind of disease or something like that? No. The afternoon, uh, I, I feel uh, oh, hairy. Ah, that like kind of hairy. Yeah, no, the okay. afternoon. Okay. I I hear it, but uh, I feel very good. Hello. Ahorita comenzando la una clase. <laughs> sí. Solo me escribe, si gusta me escribe y, y en un espacio le voy respondiendo. Ok, listo. Listo, listo. Ok, here we go again. Ok, let me check up the attendance. Ok, somebody else got the, the, the third doses of uh, one passing eight. Today now, the vaccine. Okay, let me see the attendance now. I want to be sure that all of you are here. Let me see. Okay. Um, 
I got it here. Okay, Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. It's not here. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Welcome, welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Giovanni Alexander. It's not here. Uh, Harrison Manuel. Present. Welcome. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, sir. Uh, Karina Noemi. Present. Uh, Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Welcome. Maria Idalia. Maria Idalia. Ah, yeah. Maria Julia. Maria Julia. Marlene Nicole. Present. Welcome. Eh, Marvin Omar Méndez. Eh, Nancy Ibet. Nancy. It's not here. Uh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Welcome. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Welcome. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Welcome. Suleima Veronica. Present teacher. Welcome. Xiomara El Carmen. Xiomara. No. And uh, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina Chavarria. It's not here today. Okay. Okay, welcome back. As I told before, today, before to start with a new topic, we are going to make a kind of review of what we were studying in the last class. And I would like to know what do you remember about the last topic that we studied? The last week. Tell me, please. I'm ready to hear you. Hagamos un repaso eh, de lo que vimos en la clase anterior, por favor. What can you tell me about it? This is class number eight, even introduction. Given introduction and practice, okay. We are going to make a review about the last bit topic. Do you remember? Okay, think about, think about, please. Okay, I'm here. I want to hear you saying something about the last topic. Don't forget to turn on your cameras because I have only just four, and the rest, they don't have the, their cameras on. No se nos olvide que necesitamos siempre las cámaras encendidas. Es parte del de acuerdo que tenemos. 
y a la hora que se auditan los las videos, uh, ese es algo que se toma muy en cuenta. Teacher, we, we did a question about is there and are there. Excellent, excellent. Okay, somebody else, somebody else. Ya Linda y Beth nos, nos dijo el tema. Okay, alguien más, por favor. Necesitamos hacer un review y luego uh, pasamos al siguiente. Hello. Affirmative sentence using there is or there are. Okay. And uh, I need that you give me some examples. Uh, oh, there, are, there are five shops. <clears throat> there is a building. Okay, we need to keep in mind that when we ask questions using uh, there is and there are, we need to switch the B form at the beginning, the question. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. Okay, Rafael. Is there uh, one tiger on the playground? Ah, okay, okay, I like that, okay. What else, what else? Hey, teacher. Reynaldo. Are there many children in the park? Okay, excellent, excellent. Is there a boy in the house? Okay, that's correct. Are there some houses in the city? Excellent. Okay, different way how we can ask question, right? Uh, referring to singular and plural, and we need to keep in, in mind at the moment that we are going to ask a question using these uh, two words. Okay, excellent. Let us continue. I know that you have uh, some ideas about this topic. Today, we are going to study a new topic in a second. But before to start with the topic, we are going to answer this question. And I would like to hear you giving me some answer about this. Do you know where the uh, where different rooms are in your workplace? Tell us. Do you know where the different rooms are in your workplace? Imagine if I want to talk with the uh, human right person in charge, where I can find it? If I ask you the, the, the question, what can you tell me about it? Where can I find uh, the manager of the company? Do you understand the question? Yes? Yes. Okay, I need that you give me an answer. Hello.
I know that today is uh, Monday and sometimes the beginning of the week is uh, really difficult, but we have to do it. So please, I need to give me an answer for this question. Do you know where the different rooms are in your workplace? Reception. Okay, okay. Where, where is the reception in your company? No reception. Could you tell reception. me where, where is the reception? Maybe it is uh, maybe it is in the main main entrance. Could be some time because visitor can uh, ask question there. Okay, what else? Hello, hello. Okay, I consider in the that in the place where you work, there are different uh, areas, right? Is that right? En el lugar donde trabajan existen diferentes áreas, diferentes oficinas. That is what we are talking about. It. De eso estamos hablando. Si conocemos dónde están eh, cada una de las de las diferentes funciones, en qué lugares. That is what we are talking about. Do you remember? No. If I ask you where 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 is the manager office? What can you tell me? Auditor office. Okay, okay, auditor office. General manager. Yeah, different areas. But if if imagine that somebody uh, that it doesn't speak as Spanish, get uh, to your company and ask for a specific room, how you are going to give him or her the interaction in order to get there? Teacher, how do you say Pasillo. The hole? Hole. Yeah, hole. Maybe it could be uh, the, for example, the, the restroom or the bathroom is to the end of the hole. Okay. Are at the end of the hole. Okay. okay. Bathroom are at the end of the hole. Okay. Or, or somebody can ask, where is the parking lot in the company? What is the main entrance? What is the exit? Okay. Try to remember, try to remember. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, let us start talking about this uh, conversation that we have here between Walter and Mary. Walter, say good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety interaction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the, between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. 
it is important not to get close the red areas. Easy. This conversation is very easy, you know? But what I want is that you pay attention about the interaction that the engineer is given the workers. I'm going to read it again. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read it. Alguien que quiera leerlo solo. Okay. Teacher. Anna. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. This is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineers. Hello, hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, fall between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the air plus or the times it is important not to get close to red areas. Thank you, thank you. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. Somebody else want to read or not? Hey, teacher. I need that all of you participate. Okay, go ahead, Rafael. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. We are a helmet of the time walk between the yellow lines. And I don't forget to wear to air plus all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. Okay, thank you. Try to read it naturally. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce a new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the air plug all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay. If you don't have the material, make a screenshot now because I'm going to stop chatting it. Do it now, please. It is done, yes. Okay. Okay, let us practice. It is easy. Really, really easy. I don't know if you have any question or a word or a impression, the conversation. I would like to be pretty sure about that. Everything is clear for you? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Really? Okay. Let me see how many I got 14. Let me see. Okay, seven is going to be five. Yeah. Okay, try to practice. Person assign. I got one more. I'm going to recreate because I got one more. 
Let me see. Maybe one is going to be with three. And you are going to work together. Reynaldo is alone. Reynaldo, Reynaldo. Okay, Reynaldo, I'm going to send you to room seven, I guess. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm going to send you to room seven because I don't want that you be alone. Okay. Okay, you are going to work there. Okay, yes, practice. Yes, practice. Okay, right now, and this moment they are in a breakout room, practicing the conversation that is going to help them to increase their skills, speaking skills. Hello, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry, estaba a cenar peor. Okay. Uh, no estaba asignado con nadie. Uh, no. Let me see if I can find it here. I don't see your name. Yeah. My gosh, you are alone. Let me see if I can send you to room eight. And I'm going to look for, okay, time is over now. Don't worry about it. Okay, time is over. I need volunteer. If you want to participate, just write your hand. That way I'm going to assign. So let me, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new flow, Satellite Energy. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am provide some Safet introduction today. Tell us about that, Miss Marit. Wear a helmet all the time. Well, between the gel of night, and don't forget to wear the envelope and the time. It is important not to go to get close the red area. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
Somebody I want to read it. I'm going to read it again. I need that you pay attention. Okay, so good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce a new floor safety, safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow line, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. Okay. Somebody else want to do it, please? Remember that uh, if you have doubts about, about how to pronounce a word, just let me know, please. Si tienen alguna duda con la pronunciación de alguna palabra, por favor, consulte. Al momento que yo estoy leyendo, tome un lápiz, anote, como usted considere que se acerca a la pronunciación y en that way you are going to get better, ok? Somebody else, please. Person. Person, are you okay. ready? Ok, Rafael. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Mrs. Mary. We are a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow line, and I don't forget to wear to air black all the time. It is important not to get close to red area. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Ok, nadie más va a participar. Me van avisando porque si no van a participar, vamos a ir avanzando. Remember that you need to practice. You need to practice. But if you don't want to do it, Karina. Vale. Ok. <laughs> Yo first. Um. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. We are helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the air clothes all the time. It is important not to get too close to red areas. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else. Teacher. Hello, Ana. Eh, con Raquel. Okay. Raquelita. Usted empieza. Sí. Okay. Eh, si, si quiere usted, usted manden. Bueno, empiezo. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, that Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow line and don't forget to wear the earplug all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, somebody else, please. Norma? Yes. Are you all want to do it? Hello. Good Hello. Hello. Good morning. Everyone, it's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing 
some safety instruction today. The last of all, that's Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the ear clothes all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, thank you. Red areas, okay, thank you. Yeah, somebody yes, teacher. Else? Oh, okay. Ready, Linda. Yes, Juan Carlos. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safe intrusion today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet at uh, the time while between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the air flux at the time it's important not to get close to real areas. Thanks. Okay, um, I'm going to show you again the conversation. Where I have it. Because what I want is that, uh, you need to be really careful because sometimes we need to uh, pronounce some words or most of the words. But let me see, I want to show you here. I got it here. Okay, for example, let me see, I'm going to underline this word. Where is it? Okay, let me see, okay, this one. Oops. Yeah, it is really uh, different when you pronounce only as the word safe, only this, safe. But in this case, we have a T and a Y here. That means that you have to say in a clear way, safety, safety. Careful about that, okay? Try to keep in mind. For example, this one is, uh, is Pluto, earplugs. Air plus. What else? Another word, instruction. 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 Repeat. Instruction. 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 Right here, it is that you have at this letter. Like ah, but it's not an uh, it's an open uh, ah, instruction. 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 Yeah, instruction. Instruction. Okay, what else? Important. 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 Areas. 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 And this one, listen, I want to tell you this. Sometimes you are going to listen in that way. Some people say areas, and Americans say areas, and so on. Then also they say areas. It's totally different, you know? But at least you need to get a, a pronunciation that gets close to the uh, pronunciation, okay? Okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No? No. No question? Remember what, that what I need is that all of you learn 
how to pronounce each word in the right way. That means that if I tell you, for example, well, I'm not going to mention any name, but if I ask you to somebody of you that introduce yourself in a different job, how you can are going to do it. Imagínense que yo le pido, ok, uh, necesito que usted se presente en su nuevo trabajo. Uh, imagine that you are the chair manager of the company. Imagínense que usted es el gerente general de la empresa y va llegando. How you are going to, to say in English? Let me see. Hola. ¿Cómo sería? Cortico, cortito. ¿sí? Hello. Se las puse muy difícil o qué? Based on the, the example that you got there. Hello? No me comprendió la instrucción. No, not teacher. not teacher. Really? Really. Okay, based on the conversation, basado en la conversación, pudimos ver que eh, hay, un, hay un nuevo personal, una nueva persona que va a ocupar un puesto y va a dar nuevas directrices. In your case, en su caso, Imagine que usted es nuevo en, en la empresa y usted tiene que explicarle a la, al grupo de personas que lo asignaron cuáles van a ser sus funciones, aunque ya ellos conozcan algunas cosas, pero cuando llega un jefe nuevo hay cambios. Entonces, ¿cómo lo haría usted? How do you introduce yourself? ¿Cómo se presentaría usted? And how you are going to do in order to give instruction. ¿Cómo haría para dar instrucciones a el grupo de personas con quien va a trabajar? Based on the conversation that we have there. Difficult? <laughs> Difficult or not? The first thing that you need to do is just to say hello to everybody, okay? Imagine that I'm going to introduce myself in a company as a chair manager. The first thing that I need to say is, okay, good morning. My name is Matt Lasso. I'm the new chairman of your, this company. And I would like to give you some tips in order that we can start working in a different way in order to produce. That is the main objective of this company. First of all, I would like to tell you that I need that all of you be here on time. If you are going to get into the company at seven, so please you need to be here at least five minutes before seven. And you start telling that way. Me comprende? No me comprende? Yes, teacher, but oh. no sé cómo formularlo. Ah, okay. Tell me in Spanish. And I'm going to give you some ideas. Good morning. My name is Annie. I am the new sales executive. 
only. <laughs> okay, okay, you are doing well. Es, eh, me encargaré de la de new las nuevas cuentas I am, de uh, clientes, algo así. I am going to be in charge the new accounts of the clients. Yes. Okay, but don't worry about it. No, no, no se preocupen. Lo importante es que con la práctica es que necesitamos llegar hasta ese punto. Por eso es la conversación previa. Por eso es que les pido que deben de participar. Pero como ya dije, yo no voy a estar mencionando nombres. Cada quien, si necesita participar, si siente el deseo, va a decir me, me, teacher, me. But if you don't want to talk, well, I'm not going to show. Si usted no quiere, pues yo no puedo pucharla. Ok. Pero sí, eh, a medida que usted participa, usted va a ir haciendo más dinámica la clase, pero si usted no participa, entonces usted después va a decir, ay, qué aburrido. La clase fue, ah, bueno, ahí hay que ver, habría que ver. What is going on there? Que yo puedo estar aquí diciendo, vamos, vamos, vamos. Pero si usted me dice, no, 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 no. Ok, let us talk about this now, please. Uh, in order to continue, uh, let me talk about the diagram of the REX facilities and identify the different places. This is like a company, right? We have uh, A, B, C, D, E, and so on. And we have the different areas. Por estas áreas son las que les pregunté al inicio, que si sabían, si conocían todas las áreas de su compañía o de su lugar de trabajo. Es posible que en algunos lugares donde ustedes trabajen no, no exista la production area, ¿sí? Pero tal vez sí existe la reception area. Okay, in this case we have the production area that is here. Right here is the manufacturing of the, of the product. And also we have a reception area. And at the same time, and let us see, this is called the planning area. And also we have the manager office that is here. This is the manager office. We have an auditor, auditor office that is here. And also we have a Quality control, that is letter F. Where is letter F? We have different right here. And at the same time, we have restroom. Uh, letter H, that is here. We have exit. And at the same time, we have uh, the parking that is here. Okay. I need that you identify areas that this Rex company have. Okay, I need that you read for me this name, please. Who wants to do it? I'm going to read again in order that you get familiar with that. Prediction area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, Quality control, restroom, exit, and parking. Okay, who wants to tell me? Me, teacher. Okay, Linda. Production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restroom, exit, and parking. Okay, right here I need that you make a switch. Will you repeat this, please? Production area. Okay, right here you are going to put, do you remember what I told you uh, in the previous one? Every time that, most of the time that you see a letter EU, you are Product. going to pronounce like uh, Product. Production. 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 
production area. Ah, okay. Production area. Repeat, production area. Repeat, please. Production area. Production area. Production area. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody else, please. I need a, a volunteer who wants to read it. Recuerden que el que participa es el que más aprende. Me teacher. Okay, Christine. Production areas, reception areas, planning areas, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restroom, access parking. Okay, right here, letter D. Manager office. Manage, manager office. Manager office. Manager office. Okay, manager office. Okay, somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Anna. Production area, reception area, training areas, manager uh, office, auditor office, quality quality control, restrooms. Exit parking. Okay, letter D. Manager. Manager office. Manager office. Managers. Manager. Manager. Office. Manager. Office. Man managers office. Okay. okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Uh, Me I don't know if you, okay, okay, hold on. I don't know if you have your material with you because I would like to see your faces. No sé si tienen su material o necesita que les tenga proyectado. Mejor proyectado, teacher. Ah, ok. Bueno, porque necesito yo mirarle los rostros. Ok. I ok. Ok, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Production era, resección era, training era, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restroom, exit, parking. Okay. A medida va pasando el tiempo, you need to put a little soul, you need to add a little soul in order that the pronunciation switch a little bit and sounds much better, okay? Somebody okay, else? Somebody else? Somebody else? Veo que no, no, no quieren participar el día de hoy. Mr. Chief. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restrooms, exit, parking. Okay. Mr. Chief. Can do it. Planning area, me, uh, perdón. Production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restrooms, exit, parking. Okay. Me, teacher. Do it. Production area, reception area, planning area, ma manager office, auditor office, quality. Control, restroom, exit, parking. Okay, thank you. Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it. Production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, risk, restroom, exit, parking. Okay. Me, teacher. Do it, do it. Production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restroom, exit, parking. Okay. okay. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me check out the attendance now because right now we have the, let me see, non -clock.
try to uh, keep in mind all the pronunciation of different places in the company, please. Let me see the attendance now. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Angel. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, Giovanni. Present teacher. Uh, Harrison. Present. Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karina Noemi. Present. Linda. Pre present teacher. Maria Idalia. Present teacher. Welcome back. Maria Julia. Maria Julia. Not here today. Marlene Nicole. Present. Marvin. Nancy Yvette. Present teacher. Welcome. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. I'm here, teacher. Raquel. Present. Reynaldo. Present teacher. Suleyma. Present teacher. Xiomara. Xiomara. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, let us continue with the class, please. We were talking about different places in different areas in your workplace, right? Any question about this? No? No. No. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, we are going to start talking about exercise number four. And you are going to imagine this. You are at the parking and you have this question. Usted está en el parqueo y le hacen las siguientes preguntas. For example, number one, where are the restaurants? How can you tell me about this? Based on the picture that I have previous, try to keep in mind this question and I'm going back to the, to the picture. Traten de mantener eh, en mente las preguntas y nos vamos a regresar a la imagen. And you are going to tell me how can I get there? For example, if I ask you, where is the quality control? How can you tell me? Or if I ask you, where is the manager office? Or where is the exit? And at the right side, we have a vocabulary that says go straight, to left, or to right, uh, walk 10 meter, or you can say walk through the production area. Try to keep in mind, please. Remember, we have four questions, and uh, you need to answer this question, but before you need to be sure exactly how you are going to answer this question. I'm going back to show you the picture. And based on that, you are going to give me an answer. Okay. I'm going to ask you the fair question. If you have the answer, uh, just let me know, please. Okay. Imagine that I am in the parking. Where is the parking? I'm going to put something here in order that you know exactly. I'm going to be here. Let me put the word here. I'm going to put it here, okay? I, I need to say the color. I don't like that color. I'm going to use red. I, I am here. 
Okay. Okay, I'm here. In my case, I'm here. And I need and I need to get to a different place. And I ask you, where is the restroom? How can you tell? Only only one, please. Give me an answer. Is go straight and turn right, then um, walk twenty meters. Twenty meters. Three. Yeah. Okay. There is something here that I want to show you and tell you. Okay. In this case, we only talk about exit, right? Aquí solo hablamos de la salida, but, but not the main, the main entrance. No hablamos de donde está eh, ubicada la entrada principal. ¿Ya? Yeah. No sé si me comprende lo que les quiero decir. Pero en este caso, como no hablamos de entrada principal, maybe you can send me to this. Because this is the exit. Yeah, that you can send me and say, okay, get to the exit and you are going to go straight ahead for about 20 meters. Yeah, 20 meters. The restaurant is going to be just on the corner. The baños van a estar justo en la esquina at your right. Okay, I want to hear that in that way. Okay, another question. I, I suppose that, uh, let me see, you already started uh, how to give answer, giving direction and asking direction, but we are going to show you something else, okay? The second question say, where is the quality control? Where is quality control? How can I get to quality control? Tell me. Remember that I'm here in the parking. How can I get there? ¿Cómo puedo llegar hasta ahí? Tell me. Yeah. Wall, 10 meter. Uh, room on the left. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here. How I am going to do in order to get here? Or maybe, uh, let me see, now uh, because these are the, the bathroom. Let me, let me see where we are going to the main entrance. Where is going to be the main entrance here? Let me see, maybe it could be here. Ubiquemos que sea entonces esta, La entrada principal, justo aquí. And this is a door that I need to open. And how can I do it? But we have a problem here because I can move it. Maybe you know, I don't need to get here. I can do it by this way. Because right here, this is the bathroom. All this. And maybe we can say that it's going to be here. Let me see. Veamos, vamos a ubicar una entrada principal para que nos vayamos ubicando en cómo. Va, imaginemos que va a ser aquí la entrada principal. Aquí. What's going on here? Okay, imagine that is there. Okay, hold on. I don't know what is happening. But the, the main scene is that it's going to be here. Okay. There is going to be the main entrance. If the main entrance is here, how can I get to the place where I, I need to the quality control? How can you tell me? 
Si la entrada principal es justo aquí, how can I get to the uh, quality control? Go straight, go straight uh, through left, production right. area and turn left. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, tell me, but, but okay, first of all, you, you tell me something. Es que el problema que tenemos es que la entrada principal no está señalada. Entonces, eh, bueno, hemos andado buscando diferentes lados, pero maybe it could be right here in this door. But go ahead, tell me. Go straight, your right. Okay, okay. And then? There are in front of control quality. A uh, planning area, sorry. Mm -hmm. And how you are going to say, está en frente de? Is in front of planning area. Or you can say, the quality control is in front of Planning area. The planning area, okay. It's going to be on your left, on your right, okay. Remember that we need to take account all those words. Okay, but don't worry about it. What about the third question? What is it? ¿Cuál es la tercera pregunta? Do you remember that? Where is the manager office? Where is the manager office? Somebody want to tell me? What is it? Imagine that you are going to get right here. We are going to imagine that this is going, this is going to be the main entrance. It's going to be better here. Okay. And I say, okay, what is the manager office? Meet the chief. Okay, tell me. Uh, go straight. Uh, wall, take mirror. In front, in front of uh, production area. It is in, in front of the production area. It is at the, at the left or at the right? Okay, imagine this. If if I get here, as soon as I get here, what I can do is just to turn right and go straight ahead for maybe 15 uh, meter. And then I'm going to turn left by, could be, let me see, 10 meter. The manager office is at your right. I mean, that is going to be here. Okay. But let us let us go ahead because I need that you get familiar with uh, with the vocabulary. Hold on a second, I need. Okay. I got it here. I don't know if you remember this vocabulary. When you need to go directly to a point, you say go straight ahead by a recto. You are going to say that somebody make a turn. You are going to say turn left, to la izquierda, to right, a la derecha. Walk, walk, 10 meter, could be 20 meter, could be five meters or walk through the production area. Yeah, all depend on the question that we are going to have. Okay. 
Do you remember this expression? No? Let me see your faces. Let me see your faces. Okay, in, in the area, in the place where you work, in the lugar donde usted trabaja, imagine that you are in the main entrance. Imagínese que usted está en la entrada principal. Okay? And the visitor want to talk with the manager. How you, can you explain in English where the manager office is? ¿Cómo le explicaría usted dónde está la oficina del de manager office? Try to imagine and remember. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Se recuerdan? No. Okay, I'm going to refresh your memory. Vamos a refrescar su 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 memoria. With some words, uh, con algunas palabras that you need to keep in mind. And I know that you have it there, but you need to remember. Okay. Right here, I got a full conversation. Uh, I hope that you can read it very well. Talking about uh, asking and giving directions. For example, the number one, who wants to read it? I need two volunteers. Is that possible? Me, teacher. Okay, and somebody else? Somebody that help her, please. Alguien que quiera ayudarle. Hello. Me teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let's start. Okay. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the muse museum? Is this is the way going straight ahead at the traffic light? To right, go along the street. Walk past the park and keep going straight until you see the sign for the museum. Great, thank you for, for your help. You're welcome. Okay, right here in this conversation, we have some uh, special phrases that are in red in order to give Directions. Tenemos algunas frases especiales de color rojo que nos sirven para dar direcciones. Por ejemplo, go straight ahead. Y lo que está de color verde son eh, eh, locaciones, lugares específicos, objetos específicos. Por ejemplo, en this set, it is this way. Es en este camino aquí. Go straight ahead. Vaya recto at the traffic light hasta que llegue al semáforo. To the right, iré a la derecha. Go along the street. Y váyase solo por esa calle. Go past the park. And keep going a stride until you see the sign for the museum. Pase del parque, manténgase recto hasta que mire el rótulo donde dice museo. And James said, great, thank for your help. You're welcome. Okay. We are seeing this in a general way. Okay. Okay, somebody else. I need two volunteers to read the uh, conversation number two, please. Necesito dos voluntarios que lean la conversación dos. Okay. Okay, me teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. Excuse me, how do I get to the post office? Sorry, I am not from, I don't know, here. Do you know where the closet bank is? 
if you cross the street, you feel above there. Thank you. Don't mention. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to read it. Excuse me. How do I get to the post office? Post office. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not from around here. Do you know where the closest bank is? If you cross the street, you'll find a bank there. Thank you. Don't mention it. Okay. In this conversation, we only have one cross the street. Cross the street. And we can say if you cross the manufacturing area, okay, we can use it. Okay, conversation number three, I'm going to read it. Excuse me, I'm afraid I can't find a petrol station. Do you know where one is? There's one near here. How do I get there? At the bus stop. Take the first right and go straight on. It's opposite the shopping mall. Thank you so much. Take the first right. Tome la primera derecha and go straight on. Vaya a ser recto. Está al opuesto de el shopping mall. That means that you need to take care of the red one, right? And the last one, the number four, I'm going to read to say, excuse me, it is there a hospital near here? Yes, there's one near here. How far is it to the hospital? It's not far, maybe about 200 yards. Could you please guide me? Is that way, go straight ahead. Take a ride at the junction. This straight road will lead you to the hospital. And here we have the same, go straight ahead, take a right, uh, a straight road will lead you to the hospital. This kind of expression are going to help you to give uh, some direction and location. Going back again to this, imagine uh, we are going to switch. Imagine that uh, somebody, ask you, you are uh, sweeping the sidewalk. Usted está barriendo ahí la acera and suddenly a car stop. De repente se detiene un carro and, and ask you, okay, where I can find a pharmacy or how can I get to the pharmacy here? How can you tell? ¿Qué le diría usted? Try to imagine where is the pharmacy in your, your place where you live. Or maybe you are going to say, no, there is no pharmacy here. No? Será que no me comprenden lo que trato de decir? O oh, sí. Imagínense que usted está barriendo la acera enfrente de su casa cuando de repente se detiene un vehículo Y le pregunta, ¿dónde encuentro una farmacia por aquí? Y en el área donde usted vive hay una farmacia que está a dos cuadras. ¿Sí? Ahorita no le hemos puesto más condimentos, solo hemos dicho que está a dos cuadras. No hemos dicho que está entre la barbería y el banco. ¿Cómo le diría usted? ¿Será que tiene que irse recto? ¿Tiene que cruzar en la esquina a la derecha, a la izquierda? How? Try to imagine. I know that you can do it. What about you, Karina? How can you tell me, Karina? Um, maybe you can go straight, then go get turn, get then turn to the left, 
Okay. And the pharmacy is between the, I don't remember what you say. The barbershop and the bank. That, the barbershop and the bank. Okay, okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, nos salimos un poco del contexto eh, en la cuestión de las direcciones, porque a referencia estamos hablando solamente adentro de la empresa, donde está tal oficina, pero para eso necesitamos saber, gire a la derecha, gire a la izquierda, vaya recto, camine tantos metros. Eso es lo que necesito. Y por eso es que necesitamos tener ese vocabulario. Pero necesito su participación. Porque por ratito siento como que si mi micrófono is not working. Now. Siento como que no me funciona el micrófono. Y si no comprende, tiene que levantar la manito. Y decirme. No comprendo. ¿Sí? Tengo dudas en eso. Porque no es, no es posible. I'm sorry, I, I, I have some problem in my, in my throat. I need to drink some water, maybe. Okay, um, what I need is that you keep in mind all these kind of vocabularies in order that you can give interactions. But remember, you need to study you need to read, you need to speak, you need to look in your dictionaries, all these kind of vocabularies. Okay. Hagámoslo más fácil, va. Okay. En español le voy a hacer la pregunta. Desde ahí donde usted está, pero la respuesta la quiero en inglés, desde luego. In your house. From the place you are now, where is the restroom? Desde el lugar donde usted está. ¿Cómo hace? How, how can I get to the restroom if I want to use it? Tell me. Si alguien está con usted ahí le dice, ¿dónde está el baño? Me lo presta, me presta el baño. ¿Cómo le diría a usted? Dígamelo en español, le voy a ayudar. Dígame. Um, the bathroom is go straight, then turn right, and turn right. Ya lo perdí, ya lo perdió. Gracias, Rafa. Yeah. Solo girando a la derecha. Todos lados. Sí. Es Pero fácil. Lo, lo, lo más importante es bueno, que usen el vocabulario. O sea, eso es lo que quiero. Que interactúen, que no me estén solo oyendo, sino que usen el vocabulario. Por ratos me aflijo lo que les estaba diciendo. Me, me preocupo porque pienso que quizás mi micrófono no me está funcionando porque no tengo una respuesta. Entonces... Eh, Lo importante es tener esas palabras, ese vocabulario ahí con nosotros. Mi teacher. Ok. Ana Cristina. The barrel is after the door on the right. Ok, ok. Ahí no me perdí mucho. Sí. Ok. Excelente. ¿Son variados? Lo mismo, lo mismo que estamos haciendo Es lo que les pedí hace ratitos. Si yo llego a su empresa y les pregunto, ¿dónde está la oficina del gerente? How you can tell me. ¿Cómo me diría usted si nos, si nos encontramos en la entrada principal? Y alguien me va a decir, no, es que yo no tengo gerente, por eso no le puedo dar la respuesta. 
your boss, a su jefe, pues. No tengo, yo soy el jefe. Pues démela a usted, la de su oficina. Hello. ¿No? Cuando ya lo saqué de contexto de su casa y me lo llevé a la, a la empresa otra vez, ya no le gusta. Yo sé que están cansados de estar en ese lugar. I understand. No podemos pensar, no. Ahorita, sí, yo, yo siento, lo, ahí lo siento. A esta hora lo estoy haciendo que estén pensando en su oficina y ustedes ya no quieren saber nada de eso. No, por ejemplo, en mi trabajo no hay nada de eso, entonces por eso no opino nada. Ah, ok. Me imaginé que, pues sí, pero al menos lo que quiero es que tratemos de imaginarnos y demos una dirección para usar el vocabulario. Mm. Imaginémonos otra cosa. Need entonces. Need okay. Need ok. Tell me. Eh, en mi caso sería como go, go stream and the tour ring is the first door. Okay, excellent. But imagine that you, if you get to the bank, imagine cuando usted va al banco. And you say, okay, I need to talk with the manager. Necesito hablar con el gerente. And somebody is going to tell, okay. Le va a decir, okay, follow me. Sígame. O le va a decir, okay. Go to the door or go straight ahead. And then vaya para allá, recto. Luego gire a la izquierda. And then it's going to be the second door. Y toque en la segunda puerta. Eso es lo que quiero. Easy. Okay, but let us continue because the time is running. Time is running. Okay, let us work in exercise number five. Right here, you are going to work in a in pairs. You are at the parking and you are visiting Rex facilities. Your question are, para responder estas preguntas nos vamos a basar en el diagrama de Rex, que es la que ya vimos donde están los lugares. And you are going to say, okay, how can I get, repeat, how can I get, how can I get, How can I get? How can I get? How can I get? To the auditor office. To the auditor office. To the auditor office. Okay, the, the second one. How can I get? How can I get? To the quality, how can I get? To the quality control department. To the quality to the control, control department. Control department. How can I get? To the planning area. How can I get to the planning area? Or how can I get to the restroom? How can I get the restrooms? Okay, we are going to work in these three questions. Vamos a, a trabajar en esas tres preguntas. Si no lo tienen, hagan un screenshot now. And we are going to make a breakout room. But I need that you, um, in order to, let me go back. In order to answer this question, you need to see this picture. Para responder esa pregunta, necesitan tener el material y ver esta pista. Y acordarse de que ustedes están en el parqueo. Sí? Para poder dar una dirección. But, but try to do this. Pero necesito que tratemos de hacerlo. Let me see. I'm going to give okay. It's going to be nine. I'm going to give you three minutes in order that you speak about it. Okay, here we go. Ana 
Christina, somebody's waiting for you. Nancy. More time, teacher. <risa> no hicimos por la primera todavía. <risa> ¿Vale? No es justo, tío. I gave you three minutes. Le di tres minutos. <risa> Ten minutes. Jesus. Ten minutes. Ok, no se preocupen. Íbamos entrando a la oficina, teacher. Ah, ya se ha entrado. En la recepción area. Ah, en la recepción area, ok. Ok, uh, let, let me try to do it. Maybe some of you will solve it. One is going to ask the question and the other is going to answer the question. Who wants to try? ¿A quién le gustaría? intentarlo. Mi teacher, I will okay. try. Okay, Harrison. Uh, what? Five we, mirrors. Okay, okay, Harrison, Harrison. Yes. Who is your partner? ¿Quién es, quién es su compañero? And uh, Cristina. Okay. Okay, ask the question. Uh, how can I have the Auditory office. Okay, Anna. What five mirrors to write? What uh, 25 mirrors through the production and planning areas? Turn left and what 10 mirrors on your right is the auditory office? Thank you. Okay, Anna. 
Okay, and now Harrison, you can ask her a question. Para que esto se ponga así como activo, usted le puede hacer una pregunta a ella y ella le da la respuesta. Lo que yo quiero ver en todos es que participen. Pero ya les dije, a mí no me gusta estar llamando a fulano, participando, porque después dice, no, ya la agarró, solo a mí me menciona. Habiendo tanto, solo a mí me menciona. El objetivo es que todos tengan la misma oportunidad de participar. Por eso hoy lo he dejado open. Y he dicho, ok, el que quiere, do it. Para que así no vaya a decir a alguien, no. Es que solo los mismos. Les dije desde el inicio, para mí todos tienen la misma oportunidad. Así que ahí depende de la voluntad que usted quiera. El objetivo nuestro es ayudarle. ¿Usted se deja ayudar? Ok. ¿Son varios, please? Ok. Eh, a cualquiera, teacher. Ah, ok, if you want to do it. Lo, más, lo mejor hubiese sido interactuar eh, una pregunta con la persona que estuvo en, en el breakout room. Porque si no me lo va a agarrar a quemar ropa y, y me va a decir, ay, no, 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 no sé. Ah, ok, es que con Ana solo ese, solo ese lo alcanzamos. Ah, ok, hacer, ok, bueno. ok, no problem. No, no hay problema. Somebody else is? ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más? No. I try con with María. Ok, 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 me gusta. Me gusta que, que, que te traten, y eso ya es importantísimo. María y Dalia, ¿es you? ¿O no? Yes. Ok. Um, how can I get to the quality control department? Um, okay. Um, go straight and turn, uh, turn left. Um, the quality department is next to the, the exit. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, me gusta, me gusta. Ok, continue, continue. Somebody else. Ok, let me see. Because of the time, I'm going to show you something now. Okay, uh, let me see. You already talk about some areas like this. Remember, as, as soon as you get the, the, the somebody ask you a question, tan pronto que alguien le haga la pregunta, usted para ganar tiempo, por ejemplo, si alguien le dice, how can I get to the auditory, auditor office? Te puede decir, ah, okay. Let me see the auditor office is, sí, let me ver, la oficina del auditor está, and you, you can get the words in order to continue saying something. Somebody say, how can I get to the restaurant? Ah, the restaurant are just in the corner, están allá en la esquina. Go straight ahead, okay, así. How can I get to the planning area? Uh, to get to the planning area, you need to, se necesita, y usted continúa. 
Okay. Okay, what about number six? Answer the following question of our Rex facilities, then share your answer to your classmate. Okay, let me see, hold on. How many areas are there in Rex facilities? How many areas? Do you remember how many areas do we have in Rex? ¿Se recuerdan cuántas áreas son? Okay. areas. How many? No, teacher. Is there a financial office in these facilities? No. How many quality control offices are there? Three. Control. Is there an auditor office? Okay, try to try to answer this question. I'm going to give you two minutes, maybe three minutes. En en español y ojo que aquí estamos relacionando el tema del viernes con las preguntas. Hay algunas por ahí, véalas. Ok. Who wants to give me an answer? What the fuck question? ¿Quién me quiere dar la respuesta de la primera pregunta? How many areas are there in Rex facilities? Nine. Nine areas. There are 11. Ah, ok. Hoy, could you repeat again? ¿Podría repetírmelo de nuevo, por favor? Lady? There are 11 areas. Ajá, ok. There are 11 or 9. There are nine. Nine? Nine, nine, nine areas. Nine areas, okay, okay. Second, is there a financial office in these facilities? There isn't financial there. office. No, there isn't, okay. How many quality control offices are there? How many? There are, three, there are three offices. The answer? There are three areas. There are three offices. Office. Okay. And the last one, is there an auditor office? Yes, there is. Yes, it is. Okay. Excelente. And... The last part is this. Let me see the last part here. This is number seven. This is your two. My group of visitors come to rec facilities, explain to the set the basic rule and safety instructions. Or visit of after. Before that, let me show you something here. I need to see a chart. Okay, hold on. Okay, try to remember, try to remember this uh this safety instruction, but let me show you in the book. Se lo voy a mostrar en el libro para que vean cómo aparecen ahí. Porque en la diapo aparecen a uh, Más cortico, si hay algo que no está ahí. Ok, ok, hold on, hold on. I got it here, ok. 
Okay, let us do the number number eight. No seven. We are going to work in number eight. Group where make a group of four and memorize the six instruction and take turn telling them. These are the safety instructions. Wear helmet all the time, walk between the yellow lines, don't touch any machine, wear the ear earplugs all the time, wear industrial boots, don't get close to the red areas. Okay, you need to try to get in mind all uh, all those safety instructions, right? And also, um, we have another here, but uh, this is in case uh, that you fire your workplace. Este es en caso que hubiese algún incendio. Right here, you have locate an evacuation road, stay calm, call the fire department, use the elevator, get back if you forget personal object, get back if you forget personal object, use any fire extinguisher, follow instruction for the rescue team. Right here, don't get close to the fire. And right here, say get close, but it's get don't get close. Go to the meeting point and lock the door or unlock the door or the pen. But what I, you need to talk about is about in safety interaction that we have here about this one, okay? Read it and try to keep it in mind. And later on you are going to share with me, okay? Because it's the last part of the class of today. Okay, I need uh, some volunteer who wants to give uh, some safety instruction to the rest of the worker. Imagínense que usted es el safety engineer and you want to give instruction to your workers. What do you remember about it? ¿Qué instrucciones le daría usted a sus trabajadores? ¿Cuál es el recuerdo? Yes. Induction industrial industrial use industrial. Try to keep in mind, try to keep in mind, look at me, look at me, look at me. Try to memorize, try to learn by heart and say it, okay? Don't read it, don't read it, don't read it. Vamos a ver cuántas se recuerdan, no me las lean. Tell me. Who wants to say it? Okay, I'm going. To... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Eighteen. I got. If I got four, it's going to be. This is says, okay, let me see. Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes in order that you try to remember, and you are going to work in team of three and four. and try to remember, okay?
right now they are uh, working in group of three or four and they are talking about their vocabulary just in order to give interruptions. Okay, what can you tell me now? The yellow cloud is mine. What can you tell me now? Do you remember some safety rules? No? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me. Wear a helmet of deep sign, walk between yellow line, don't touch, don't touch any machine, wear airport all the time, wear the boot with the industrial boot, you don't get close to red area. Okay, excellent, excellent. Somebody else, somebody else wants to try? Pero se está leyendo. Así como lo hizo Harrison. Me teacher, uh, only two were between the yellow lights were industrial box only teacher. <laughs> industrial, industrial boot, okay. Somebody else? Uh, me teacher, Giovanni. Uh, wear a helmet all the time. Okay, helmet. Don't don't edit touch machine. The other that walk between a, a yellow line. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, excellent. Somebody else? One more, one more, si nos vamos. Me teacher. Okay, Cristina. Walk, walk um, yellow line. Use the helm, helm, okay. and use the uh, air plug in wall and exit exit door in in emergency. In emergency, emergency. Okay. Only that. Okie dokie, okay, today I need to talk with, let me see, let me see, let me see. One 
Carlos Palacios is there. Yes. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. I don't know if you have problem to stay the last 10 minutes with me. I don't know. Only just to clarify some doubt that you have about the topic. Let me see. Okay, hold, hold on a second. Hold on. Let me check up something. No sé si ya, si ya pasó usted o no, ¿verdad? Juan Carlos. Eh, el viernes me tocaba, teacher, pero tuve sí, problemas. Sí, sí, pero como no estuvo, por eso es que Ajá. avanzamos un espacio con Karina. Y, okay. dejamos, y dejamos el espacio para usted hoy. Ok, no hay, no hay problema. Ok, excelente. Excelente. Ok. Uh, try to remember en español mejor. Traten de recordar todo lo que de, lo referente a las reglas de seguridad. Porque eso lo vamos a usar para el review de mañana. Les pido, por favor que traten de participar y no tengan duda en preguntar. Lo más importante es que todos participen. Si usted no participa, usted se va a cansado, que ya no puede decir nada. Entonces necesito que todos estemos listos, participando, despiertos. ¿sí? Y si no comprende las instrucciones, ahí hay un espacio para levantar las manitos. Mire, que teacher, I don't gosh what you said. Okay. Con gusto lo voy a hacer. Pero no quiero ir avanzando en los temas que no se vayan comprendiendo. La sugerencia que les puedo dar es que cuando haya un tiempo vayan eh, leyendo eh, la lección que vamos a ver para que cuando ya vengamos a la clase ya sabemos, tenemos eh, el significado de las expresiones y palabras. ¿Ok? Okay. okay, excellent. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Ah, but before you leave, let me check out the attendance again. Antes de que se me vayan, ya se me estaba olvidando y ustedes no me... Y hay algunos que entraron ya de último y es necesario tomarle en cuenta su asistencia. Okay, let me now. Rapidito, rapidito. Ana del Carmen? Present, teacher. Okay, Ana Angel? Present. Cristina? Present. Giovanni? Present. Person? Present. Jose Miguel? Present. Okay, Juan Carlos? Present. Karina? Present. Hilda? Present. Maria? Present, teacher. Maria Julia? No se conectó. Oye, Maria Julia, ok. Uh, Marlene? Present. Marvin? Nancy? Present. Norma? Present, teacher. Rafael? Present, teacher. Raquel? Raquel, Reinaldo, Reinaldo, Presente, Chair. Eh, Surveino, Presente, Chair. Xiomara El Carmen, Xiomara, and Ana Cristina. Ok. Here we go. Thank you very much. I know that uh, the beginning of the week is sometimes really difficult. Algunas veces el inicio de semana como que nos cuesta porque venimos de estar descansaditos, 
y toda el, la cuestión ahí. Así es que yo les pido de favor que eh, le pongamos ánimo, ánimo, ánimo. Vamos hacia adelante. Ya viene el midterm, ahí viene el examencito corto, que creo que será el miércoles. Tranquilos, vamos hacia adelante leyendo. Poco a poco, pues vamos ahí. Ok, I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay, Juan Carlos. Okay, teacher. I, I don't know if you have any question about the topic that we have started. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta del tema que vimos hoy o de los anteriores. O usted me dirá. Eh, con el uso de chu, 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 eh, usando el pasado, quisiera que me, tal vez como una retroalimentación. Usando el pasado, ok, venga, primero le explico lo siguiente. Generalmente el chu sirve para dar sugerencias, ¿sí? Advices. Eh, generalmente se usa eh, en el presente. Okay. Ejemplo, ejemplo, usted me dice, teacher, I don't feel well, I got a headache. No me siento bien, me duele la cabeza. And I can say, okay, you should go and rest. Usted debería mejor irse y descansar. O you should take a painkiller. Usted debería tomarse. Eh, una pastilla o medicina para que, para que le, cam, de le calme el dolor ¿sí? entonces generalmente el should como es para dar sugerencias es en presente es en presente, cierto así okay. es o imagínense si lo podemos usar también en negativo eh, está usted en su casa y usted tiene o quiere ir a, a X actividad a la iglesia por ejemplo y de repente su papá se levanta, mira hacia el cielo y le dice, It look like it's going to rain. Para, mira, se ve como que va a llover. You shouldn't go. No deberías ir. ¿Sí? Entonces okay. le, le está dando una sugerencia. You shouldn't go. Ok. Because it, is, it look like it's going to rain. Porque se ve que va a llover mucho. Entonces le está dando una sugerencia también. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad? Okay. Entonces, se usa más que todo en presente, como Así sugerencia. Es. Sí. Ok. Ok. Es perfecto. Dicha, eh, a mí lo que me cuesta es, es la, la, la pronunciación de muchas palabras. Sí. Pero fíjense que yo por eso precisamente eh, les leo varias veces, les pido que lean. Lo que necesitamos vencer es como el temor. De que, nos vamos, de que nos vamos a equivocar. Entonces, estamos en un proceso. Eh, el objetivo de estar acá, mi persona, es para ayudarles. Pero si yo no les oigo que están leyendo, no les puedo decir, mire, esta palabra se dice de este modo, esta se dice de otro. No sé si usted ha notado que yo les repito varias veces los diálogos y les pregunto, siempre les digo, ¿hay alguna duda? Me dicen, no. Pero al momento que me están leyendo, eh, como que se les, se, les, se, les, se les olvida. Por eso les he dicho, tomen un lápiz, escriban la pronunciación. Si tienen impreso el material, escriban la pronunciación cerca de la palabra, así como usted la oye. Si usted oye please, entonces, así se, y se le olvida esa palabra, pues usted viene, P, L, I, y usted le pone S, si usted quiere, A, ah, dice please. Y así, cualquier palabra. Ok. Y lo, otro, sí, lo, otro, lo otro es este. Eh, tengo siempre la manilla como de traducir, pero me decía la teacher anterior ¿vale? que, que si traduzco, que no todo lo, lo de inglés es exactamente en un 100%, ¿verdad? Y que es mejor no tratar de entender antes de, de traducir palabra por palabra. Sí. Lo único que es, es un proceso, es un proceso lógico. Yo le, le diría, pero, eh, bueno, yo hice lo mismo cuando yo comencé a aprender. 
Y al inicio yo iba traduciendo y iba ordenando todo. Y siempre al final me, no me salía como debía, debía de ser. Entonces lo que yo le recomiendo es que aprenda suficiente vocabulario y de repente el mismo cerebro, cuando menos acuerde, usted deja de traducir y se suelta. Es un proceso. Pero okay. para ello usted debe de, de try over and over. Debe de tratar una y otra vez, una y otra vez. Pero si solo se queda a nivel de intelecto y usted dice, ah, lo que está preguntando él debe ser así, así, así. Pero usted me lo debe de decir, de exteriorizar, porque acuérdese que el aprendizaje de un idioma es como un deporte. A nosotros nos puede gustar mucho el básquetbol y queremos encestar bien, pero solo estar mirando, es posible que tal vez eh, algunas técnicas podamos o, agarrarlas, pero ya en la práctica es otra cosa. ¿Sí? Entonces, de practicar. Okay. ¿sí? no se puede aprender a nadar con un tutorial, es de meterse al agua. ¿Ya? Ok. <ríe> Y Ahí entonces, estamos, entonces. Y entonces, fíjese que por eso a mí a veces, a mí me preocupa el, lo siguiente. Que les pregunto, todos se quedan callados, pero cuando les digo, ¿comprendieron esto? Sí, me dicen. Pero el, 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 la respuesta de comprendieron me, me, me debe de, de, de dar la participación, pues, de cada uno. Entonces, el, y como ya le dije, el objetivo nuestro es precisamente, por eso somos los facilitadores, para hacerles el proceso más fácil, no complicarle el proceso a nadie, sino facilitarlo, ¿verdad? Sí. Y cuando tenga una consulta, ya les dije, ahí hay una manito, levante la mano, pregunte, y hágalo por usted, porque a veces uno dice, no, yo no pregunto, ¿qué van a decir los demás? No, si nosotros cada uno somos un caso aislado, que, que al final, si le ponemos vamos a desarrollar todas las habilidades. Y claro, los compañeros nos van ayudando porque con ellos interactuamos. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Y, y, y pasa lo siguiente, mire, cuando alguien está haciendo un diálogo, usted mismo, como ya le puso más atención, usted dice, ve, este se equivocó en tal palabra. Esta no la dijo como es. O sea, esas cositas son las que hay que ir anotando. Sí, es muy fijado, por lo menos esa palabra que usted decía de el chocolate, ch ch ajá. chocolate, chocolate. Ajá, ajá. o sea, chocolate. siempre está la manía como decir chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate va de y si yo no sé por qué le metían el ley, ley, chocolate, no. Y por eso yo le recomendé que si no tenían un diccionario, es que consiguieran que bajaran uno, que tuviera alguna pronunciación americana para que se les haga más fácil. Hay una duda, solo escribes la palabra y luego le presiona ahí un símbolo de una guasimita y ahí le pronuncia como. Eso ayuda bastante también. Sí. ¿Verdad? Bueno, muchas gracias por, okay. por su ayuda. Okay. ok, excelente. Y no duden en buscar cualquier cosa, sí. Bueno, teacher. Okay, muchas thank gracias. You. Good night. I hope to see you Good tomorrow. Night. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow.